You got it all wrong. Oh, I don't think so. Jamie's always been a soft touch where you're concerned. You knew he'd fall for your sob story, bail you out for Millie's sake. It wasn't like that. You know, I told him this morning he needed to toughen up. Not if it means ending up like you. <laughs> of all the people in the whole world, you had to run over Moira. Maybe Jamie hasn't got the guts to do what needs to be done, but I have. You need to back off. For his sake. Don't start whining that Millie needs you. Jamie and I can look after her. You're finished here. I'll give you 24 hours to get out before I call the police. If you call them, it won't be me that's getting arrested. <laughs> Think you can talk your way out of it, do you? I don't need to. It wasn't me that hit Moira. It was your precious son. I don't believe a word of it. I know this was down to you. How can you be so sure? You're the one that's lost it. Running off with Millie. State you were in, you were an accident waiting to happen. And everyone knows it. I admit I was in a bad way. But I was holed up in a hotel, not driving down an open road, knocking over Moira. That was your son. Jamie would never do anything like that. Well, then you don't know him as well as you think you do. I know him a lot better than you do. If he was in trouble, he'd come to me. He'd have known I'd have sorted it for him. But he didn't, did he? He was driving to see me when he knocked over Moira. And why would he trust you at a time like that? It doesn't make any sense. That is why I know it's a lie. Kim, I know you've always hated me. And I know I'm not going to convince you. So why don't you go and ask Jamie? And then you can face up to it. Or maybe you're too scared of the answer. You've been drinking. When there's more important things to do. Like what? Like dealing with your car. I think it's time for you to start telling me the truth. Got nothing to say. Wrong answer. You see, I thought maybe Andrea was the driver. And I'd have had no hesitation in reporting her to the police. But this is so much worse. Maybe I should just give myself up. Don't be stupid. The police don't have a lead, so all we've got to do is get rid of the evidence and then you're in the clear. You should have come to me, not her. And then that car would have been in the lake and your alibi sorted by now. Yeah, I forgot you're the expert covering things up, aren't you? Been doing it all your life. It won't stop my life from being ruined, Mum. Belle will still hate me, Andrea will still have me under her thumb, and... and Moira might not even recover. Moira's not our problem. And frankly, I think it's best if you forgot about Belle. At least until we get Andrea's claws out of you. How are we going to do that when she holds all the cards? One step at a time. Our priority is to make sure that you're in the clear. And right now, that car could put you in jail. What do you think you're doing? Sorting out this mess. Well, you look like you need to get sobered up. I mean, your mum have got some things to talk about. Yeah, well, I think I might have a few things to say too. Well, you can when you've sobered up. Meantime, I've got you back, so you better go. It'll be exciting hearing.